This time, Boris made the announcement first, and Cranky doesn't seem to like it. So throughout this entire pandemic, as many of you have seen before, I'm sure, every time there was a joint meeting between devolved administrations and Westminster, she, Nicola Sturgeon, would be at those TV cameras straight away before anybody else could say a word. That's basically why they stopped telling her things, because she announced everything. She can't keep her trap shut. And it's quite pathetic to see, and it's no way to lead anybody, let alone a country. Now, Boris has decided to lift all restrictions in England. We believe it's going to take place this Friday and there will be nothing else. There will be no self-isolation or nothing. It will be like it used to be. Say you caught the cold or flu. Basically, if you're not well enough, stay home. Simple. There will be no more isolation. But Nicola Sturgeon doesn't like this. She thinks that Boris is trying to run the UK. Who would have thought it? The Westminster government, the Prime Minister of the UK, is trying to run the UK. Dear God, what, what, what a shock. Basically, she doesn't like the fact she's being forced to give people their freedoms back and it's about time she was forced into it and this move will ultimately force devolved administrations to release their citizens because they're going to look at England and they're going to say, well, they're living fine. Probably got around the same COVID figures, if not less. And they've got no restrictions. So why are we still living with restrictions? Why are we still wearing masks? Why are we still having to show vaccine passports that never worked in the first place? What she said is... Uh, they've been starkly reminded of the illogical position that the Scottish, Welsh and Northern Irish governments have to deal with, which is we are responsible for public health decisions in our own countries, but it's the Treasury who makes funding decisions. What she wanted, as we all know, is another furlough scheme. A scheme that the UK simply cannot afford and has already cost us, not a small fortune, a huge fortune and will be impacted on our lives, probably for the rest of our days at least, probably even our children and grandchildren's days as well. The fact is, on this one, she's been outmaneuvered by Boris. She's been made to look rather stupid, and there's nothing else she can do about it. She has to, now, lift all restrictions in Scotland, regardless. It's okay blaming Westminster for it. Fine, do it. It doesn't matter. People need their lives back. She doesn't want to give them back. Drake is exactly the same. He doesn't want to give people their lives back. But it's about time they had them. And they know that when people now look at England and see zero restrictions on anything... They're going to want their lives back and protests will soon break out for people who want their freedoms back. Anybody who still backs all these, all these restrictions on their lives must be absolutely off their heads. There was a lady on LBC the other day calling for government to mandate staying at home during storms. This is the kind of country we've now become. People feel they have to be told what to do and when to do it. It's absolutely ridiculous and it has to stop. Now, we're going back to the old normal, like it or not. In fact, I don't even like calling it the old normal. It's just normal. They're our freedoms, and they were never the government's to take away in the first place. <laughs>